Hey, so in this video, I'll show you how you can generate AI content for multiple columns right inside Airtable. In this case, we'll be using the OpenAI API and their GPT-4 model for creating content uh, for these two columns. So let's get to it. As you can see that I have, I already have the data about laptops with this uh, like six, seven data points. Uh, for example, the model, processor, RAM, storage, display, operating system and graphics. And based on these data points, I have generated two simple prompts and I want the outputs for both the prompts in these two fields. So let's take a look at the first prompt first. It, uh, it, by using this prompt, I want to generate a short product description based on these data points under 50 words. And for the second prompt, I want to generate five simple use cases of the laptop based on the following data points and I want the output in HTML ordered list. So these are the two prompts. For the prompt one, I want the output in this short description field and for prompt two, I want the output inside this use cases field. So let's get to it. Now I'll use a custom script that I have written to call the OpenAI API right inside Airtable and then get the outputs. By the way, if you are wondering, you can get the script by clicking on the link in the description. So for the installing the setting up uh, the automation, we'll have to install an extension called scripting. So for that, click on this add an extension button and then search for the scripting extension. So this is the extension. J let's just click on this add button and it should get added within seconds so yeah this is the extension you just have to delete everything that's here and then paste the script that i have created now we'll have to fill in these required details but for now we will just click on this cancel button and then come back here and then click on this setting icon after clicking on the setting icon you will see these options and you can fill in these options as per your data so let's get to it first it says select table right now we are working in the this products table i'll just select products then it asks you enter view name for that click on this views uh, button and then you see all the views that you have right now i have only one view called grid view i can just write the grid view here and enter prompt fields. It says separate by commas if multiple. So we have multiple prompt fields. Right now we have prompt one and then prompt two. So let's enter them and separate them by commas. Prompt one, then comma, prompt two. It says enter output fields. So for prompt one, the output field is short description. So I'll just write short, okay short description and then for prompt 2 the output fill is use cases so separated by comma i'll now write use cases now i'll have to provide the open ai api key i have created a temporary open ai api which i'll just copy paste here and then it asks to enter max tokens so since the i do not require the output to be so long i'll just write 300 in the max tokens and now Put, uh, select the open AI model in this case we'll be going with GPT-4 so I'll select this and it's already I can just now click on this uh, run button and the output will start generating let's see output for this prompt will appear in this column and then output for this prompt will appear in this column so the first output has come and I'll just check it uh, the, yeah it seems good it it's using all the data we have and, and nothing is incorrect everything is correct so yeah that's good now let's wait for the as you can see here it's generating the output for the next record in this case we have got the output and this is the output it's an html ordered list as you can see ol here and then list item use for advanced video editing and this uh, storage the laptop is ideal for handling large data sets uh, high resolution display 
and graphics machine for gamers yeah the use cases seems uh, good as well but let's check the next use case for the next laptop macbook editing high definition videos right uh, multitasking uh, efficient rendering of 3d models uh, storage quick access for large multimedia files comfortable viewing experience for activities like movie streaming and gaming yeah the description as well as the use cases are pretty good so this is how you do it and if you are wondering you can get the script by clicking on the link in the description so that's it see you in the next video